Okay, everyone, they're here. Happy anniversary, baby. I really want to thank you all for coming. It is, uh, it is truly a blessing to see family, friends, <laughs> colleagues come to help us celebrate. James, what is wrong with you? You come in here to interrupt your brother's speech and further add to that, you having an attitude? Why are you all staring at me? You are not staying here to spoil this evening. Cool it, man, you. Continue, Jerry. Um, today, So these are major miles in our lives. Ten years ago, I married this beautiful woman. Hoping then that she would never change, but over the years she did. She got more and more beautiful. And I just want to know that I love her. So ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for my beautiful wife. You know, it's very easy for someone to take their husband or wife for granted. You've been together for so many years. The fire can wear out. And like everything else, if you don't have God in your life, You're setting yourself up for a disaster. I thank God every day for blessing me with such a wonderful husband. And I want to thank you, honey, for always, always being there for me, as busy as you are. Thank you for loving me unconditionally. I want to thank you all for coming. This was really a wonderful surprise. <laughs> you know, it is so wonderful to congratulate both of you all for 10 good years. <laughs> I remember 10 years ago when you guys both stood in front of me. When I laid my hands upon you, I had blessed you all, hoping and trusting God that 10 years will be seen and today it is fulfilled. I had no doubt in my mind that God will keep you both together. Hallelujah. And I want to bless you this day and I want to trust God for you. Believing that you are going to live to see 20 more years to come. Amen. Hallelujah. You guys look so wonderful together. And praise be to God. Let us pray. Abba, dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, God, for the Sanders. Father, I thank you for the grace that you have bestowed upon the lives. God, I thank you for 10 good years. I knew that you would be a helper in the lives. It has not been easy, God, but through thick and thin, they have come true. And I pray that God will bless you and God will keep this marriage together. For your word says, that, that wish you have put together, let no man put asunder. Now I bless you with the blessings of God. And I decree that this day, this day, 
God will continue his blessings upon you. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. But, Brother Sanders, I want you to know, I've been praying for you, and I've been believing God for you. You need to give your life to Christ. Don't let it be too late, son. Don't let it be too late. And I know Sister Sanders too have been praying. She's been fasting along with you. The whole church. But I really want you to make that decision. Before it gets too late. Please. God bless you and again, congratulations. I'm so excited for you. Thank you. You're welcome. God bless you. Oh, Sister Sanders. Thank you. May the peace of God be upon you, okay? Sanders! You were? Great party. <laughs> Ten years, huh? Amazing. Let's see you. I had a great time. Thank you. Congratulations. You know my wife, Priscilla. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. We gotta get going, man. Yeah, she has a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Yeah, I got yeah, you. Thanks, man. Marcia, again, had a nice time. Thanks for coming. Okay. All right, baby, you ready? Let's go. That was really nice. Marcia, you are so lucky, girl. I wish I had someone who would do for me half the things Jerry does for you. Well, maybe what you have to do is say yes to somebody. Oh, yeah. I know, right? By the way, what's up with your brother? Well, not even him gonna spot his move for me. This evening is just for me and my wife. Okay, go ahead. Show sure. off. Oh, <laughs> Anyways, see you guys Bye. later. Love Congratulations. You. Bye. You too, girl. See ya. Congratulations to you both. I hope 10 years from now we'll be celebrating your 20th. Remember my husband, William? Of course, good to see you again. Yeah, how you doing? So how are the kids? They're doing pretty good, especially Gabriel. He came second in his class, and he's doing pretty good in sports. Anyway, we got to get going because the baby said I have to leave, and I have to talk them to bear myself. Anyway, thanks. You good guys night. have a good night. Good night. This was really wonderful. You always find ways to show me how much you're thinking about me. I talk to God every day and thank Him for sending me such a wonderful husband. Everything is almost perfect. I just don't understand why. No, no, dear. It's okay. You make me very happy, and I'll always love you no matter what. We've just got to realize that nothing's perfect. You're the one who often said, I want you not worry about things that don't have, but be grateful for the things that you do have. But I don't ask for much. I mean, a family is incomplete without a... It's okay. We've got each other. And that's the most important thing in this world. So we're gonna be late. I'm ready. But the big question is, sweetie, are you ready? 
like I always say, it's going to happen in the time is right. This is the right time, sweetie. I just don't want you to wait until it's too late. a wonderful message oh yes his message is always good so if his message is always good then why now now dear let's not start that again eventually in due time everything will fall in place Family. I don't worry when I'll take care of those. Okay. Maxwell. Yeah. I'm ready to leave. Just a minute, dear. Just like I'm saying. I said just a minute. Now please go and have a seat and I will let you know when I'm ready. Talk to you, you know the woman already talking. Okay. 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 All right. Hey, Mr. Ray. Let's go. Why must you continue to embarrass me like that? I told you after church, I have to talk to people. I have to meet people. Maxwell. I'm your wife, and surely I deserve to be- Stop! Just stop!
morning, dear. You looking sharp as usual. So what's your plan for today? Well, I was gonna try to finish Miss Cynthia's order and then start working on the Rollins. Didn't you finish your Rollins order already? Thanks to you and Tina, that's all your fault. Yeah, sorry about that. Don't need to be sorry. The party was wonderful. And besides, it was you that told me to always add at least a few extra days to the time it would take me to make a set of curtains. In that case, if something comes up, then I'll still deliver it on time. Remember? And besides, it's such a wonderful occasion. I'll be willing to deliver a few days late. Mm. Truly was wonderful, wasn't it? But hey, in 40 years time, we're going to be celebrating our 50th anniversary. Now you better be ready for that. With the love of the good Lord. When I'm off. Okay. Drive carefully. Oh, honey, are you going to call James today? Are you serious? to upset you. I know. I know. I know you mean well. But after what you did to us, I don't think we as forgiven as you. Everything will be alright. That's the way we have each other. so much. Esther? What's going on? Why are you standing down here looking at me like that? Shouldn't you be downstairs looking after my breakfast? 
why this curtain open? Uh, what time it is? I'm tired. What? I'm so tired. Listen, woman. It's too early for this. Don't get me started. Close the curtain. And you need to... Stop. Just stop. Listen to me, woman. No, you listen. You will no longer treat me like a child. You will show me the respect that I deserve. Who do you think you are talking to? I'm talking to my husband. The same man that I married three years ago. The same man so help me God. That if he don't start treating me with the respect that I deserve as his wife. I will pack my things and leave this house and never look back. Look woman, you need to check yourself. I don't know whether you had a bad dream last night or what. But you need to be careful how you talk to me. Unless you're about to kiss me and apologize for the way you've been treating me. Or at least start trying to be like a good husband. I'm going to pack my things and leave. Leave? You can't leave me. Remember, I'm your husband. Until death do us part. Is that the only thing you remember from our wedding vows? Is it? Okay, I will pretend like this didn't happen. Now you go downstairs and prepare. Now you look. You can stand there and pretend all you want. I will continue to pray for you that God will cast that devil out of you. Where do you think you are going? You have nowhere to go. This is where you live. Here, with me, your husband. Yes, Dana. Good morning, sir. Mr. Flanagan would like to speak to you. Okay, tell him I'll be right over. Oh, no, sir. He would like to speak to you online, too. Can I put in you? Okay. Yeah, thanks. Please hold, sir. Jerry! How was your weekend? Oh, it was wonderful, sir. Good. Good. So, what do you think so far? Sir, um, sorry, I'm not following you. The file is on your desk, Jerry. You are in your office, right? Uh. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Sorry, sir. It's right here. You don't sound so enthusiastic, Jerry. I am, sir. Uh, I'm just a little distracted this morning, that's all. Oh, that's not good. You need to take a day off, or could I give the, uh, project to Hubert? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh,. I got it, sir. That's what I want to hear. This is a big one, Jerry. I know, sir. Uh, I'm not going to let you down. Oh, I know. This is only the biggest account we've gotten in the last two years. Make us proud, Jerry. I will, sir. Good.
Hey, Tina. Hey, Marcia. I'm outside. You didn't tell me you were coming over. Yeah, I was just in the neighborhood and decided to stop by. I thought you said you were working today. No, Tuesday. No. Monday. I never work Mondays. You sure? I don't mind doing overtime on Tuesdays, but Monday is my day off. So, how was church yesterday? It was wonderful. It always is. So did Jerry go up this time? Girl, please. You know if he went up, I would have told you, right? Mm -hmm. I would have called him. You have this lover? Girl, how you gonna have hardness lover and not tell me? <laughs> I had to get it. Everyone kept telling me how good it was. The main reason I got it because Jerry looked just like Daisy Dunbar. Yeah, you know he is hot. Daisy is hot. You know I'm borrowing this, right? No, you're not. At least not until you return the ones you borrowed years ago. But you never returned. I don't know what you're talking about, but I have returned every single movie that I ever borrowed. Well, except for two. Two movies that I have of my sister's. And with that, I'm definitely going to get it when I return back to New York. Well, anyways, back to you and Jerry. Girl, you have to push him. I try, sometimes. But he's such a wonderful husband. I just don't want to stir things up. Marcia, you are always telling me how it is, you know, how good it is to get closer to God before it's too late. It's good to see that you actually paid attention. I think he'll go up when the time is right. Marcia, listen to me. We have been best friends since high school. And you know I've always been honest with you. Well, last week, I think it was Thursday night, I had this dream. My child, your final reward lies within. Stretch both thine ends to receive. But I can still take it with my left hand. Both hands, my child. Both hands. This foolish neck out to our end. Esther, your phone. Hello, Maxwell. Hi, Otwilla. Is Esther there? Um, the only information I can give you is that Esther only wants you to contact her when you are ready to apologize. Listen, Esther is my wife. Listen, Esther is my wife. I have the right to speak to her. So if she did, can you kindly put her on the phone? I am sorry, but I already told you all I can. What did he say? I think he might be coming over here. Listen, girlfriend, I'm so sorry for getting you in the middle of this. No, but... no, don't worry about it. You know, that's what friends are for. Oh, thank you, girlfriend. Oh, you're welcome. Basically, what you're saying is that all good actors can play the role of a model. Yes, but what if they have the look? If they have the look right. 
But not all models are actors. But no, because they're not used to the dialogue thing and getting into character and all that. Oh, okay. Well, I know you're going to do what's best for the project. But just remember, uh huh. 60% product, 25% model. No, 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 actor. Or actor. And 15% info. Okay? Well, Dana's going to fax you the paperwork. Hey, okay, thank you so much, Jerry. As always, I appreciate it. No, 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 no. Thank you. Oh, well, yeah, you're welcome. All right, talk to you soon. Bye-bye. All right, bye. Yes, Mr. Saunders. Fax a copy of the uh, F735 to Magic Media Works. But first, could you please get my wife on the line? Right away, sir. How's everything? Oh, just wonderful. You? Yeah, so what's so wonderful? I'll tell you over dinner. That is, if you're up to it. Sure. Where are we going? <laughs> what do you like to know? Uh, what, uh, you'll find I won't get there. Sounds good. So you'll just pick me up after work, right? Actually, that's what I was thinking. Okay. I'll be ready. Love you. Love you too. It's me, Maswell. I just want to talk to Esther. She doesn't want to talk to you. Please stop banging on my door. If you continue, the neighbors might call the cops. I'm not here to cause any trouble. I just want to talk to my wife. Are, are you sure about this? Okay. Are you ready to apologize? You need to come home so we can work this out as a couple. You still haven't answered my question. Stop this nonsense. Let's go. You know what? If you don't leave immediately, I personally will call the cops myself. I'm a winner. Ooh, I'm a winner. You'll never see. I'm a winner. Hey, I'm a man, my swell man. What are you doing down here, boy? How you doing, Eddie? Your car broke or something, man? Hey, Eddie, sorry to just show up like this, man. But I need someone to talk to, man. Man, you think it's some church or what, I'm some pastor or something, man? What's, oh, what's going on, on with you, man? man? Man, be serious, man. Stop. Ah. <laughs> man, Esther left me. Your wife left you, man? You mean Esther left you? It's a return that woman leave you, man. What? Man, what, what, what you did to her, man? Man, I didn't do nothing, man. That woman just woke up and started saying all this thing, but I'm not treating her with the respect she deserves. I need to apologize to her and all those stuff, man. You know what, man? As a brother, man, all I can tell you, man, you need to hit the road, man, and go get your woman back. For the good old Bible say, he that finds a wife, finds a good time. Yeah, I know all that. I know all that, man. I know all that. You know we're friends, right? I know. You never go way back, right? Right. Man. I know you, mama. Yes. I know you, dad. What's the plan, man? I'm, I'm, what was that saying? Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell you something, though. I'm going to tell you something. Okay? If you know you don't want that woman, huh? You need to let her go. But guess what? It's something deep, deep, deep down inside. Say, you gotta go get your woman, man, and you can eat, you can sleep at night, man. You need to go get that woman. You need to get things straight. I'm serious, though. I'm of serious. course, man. I need to get my wife back. I need to get Esther back. Of course. I need to get her. I had to let my woman go. But guess what? I got my old woman back home. Now I can love her, I can hold her. Okay? My family all back together. Now you need to get it straight. Yo, 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 come here, boy. Come here, come here, boy. Man, the good book say, man, you, when you find that woman, man, you need to love your wife, man. You need to squeeze her. <laughs> Can I get a hallelujah? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah
Come here, I'm talking to you, boy. I'm come, 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 come here, boy. Thank you, Lord, for such a wonderful evening and a safe trip home. Can you believe it's just 9.47? Really? So that means we can still do our Friday night movie. Yeah. Thank you. That's weird. What is? Nothing. Just a little dizzy, that's all. You okay. okay, honey? Come sit down for a while. Mm-mm, -mm, I'm okay. I really think you need to come sit down for a while. I'm okay, honey. I'm swearing off. It's just a little dizzy, dizziness people get now and then. I'll be fine. Did Tina return hardest lover yet? Hi, right, Mr. Sanders. How are you holding up? I'm okay. I'm afraid your wife is still unconscious. She's resting right now. She's normal. And our neurologist is doing the best they can. They're looking after her. Can I see her, please? I'm afraid this is not a good time. She needs all the rest she can get. And also, so do you. You need to go home and just re I am rest. Not, I'm not leaving my wife. I understand. I know you're... I know you're probably doing all you can. That's my wife in there. That's my wife in there. I know. I know. She's in good hands. Yes, how are you? Dr. Richard. How are you, sir? Good. I'm a neurologist. I will be taking care of your wife. Okay. So, how is she doing? Can I see her? I'm afraid she's still unconscious. Can I? Listen. 
guess. I'm gonna let you see. Her vital sign seems to be normal. But we're going to have to do a CAT scan in a few hours. The, res the results of her tests should be in by the end this afternoon. I do so strongly suggest that you go home and get some rest, though. I'm not leaving my wife. I understand. If you have any questions or concerns, just have any of the nurse page me. Good afternoon. I'm about to take her to radiology. Where's Dr. Torres? Uh, I got a good patient for you if you want. Do you know if the results of my test are back yet? That won't be available until after the CAT scan. Hi, Esther. How you been? Look, Esther. I know I messed up big time. I know I haven't been treating you right. But if you give me the chance, I will do whatever it takes to fix this. Please say something. Why? Just so I, I don't feel like I'm talking to you. Why should I give you a chance, Maxwell? Because I love you so much. And I know I haven't been showing you lately. You think? Look, Esther. I promise I will give you the respect you deserve. And I will do my best not to hurt you again, ever. Well, it sounds nice to hear that you seems to be coming to your senses. So what do you say? Will you come home? Well, this is what I'm going to do. I will give you a little bit more time for you to think about your actions. To see if you're ready, ready for me to come back to you. But Esther... Take it or leave it. Now what is it going to be? Okay, baby. Whatever you say. So... Call me in a few days time and we'll go from there. Okay, dear. In a few days time. Ah, thank you, girlfriend. You're welcome. You know, I have no intention of giving up on him. But I just want him to show me the respect that I deserve. Deep down inside, I know Maxwell is a good man. But I just gotta keep praying that God will rear him for not evilness that is overshadowing his good. Am I making sense? You most certainly are. A good will help bring out the best in your husband. And I think you are so on the right track. And you know, you are more than welcome to stay here as long as you want. Well, thank you, girlfriend. You're such a good friend. Yes, you're a good friend. You're a good friend. Yay! <laughs> Please have a seat. Your wife has suffered some damage to her cerebral cortex, which is the gray matter covering the outer layer of the brain. As a result, she is in a coma. A coma? 
I'm afraid so. Why is this happening? What happens next? Unfortunately, it's not much that we can do. What do you mean? The area of the brain affected is responsible for the neurological functions from simple reflexes to complex thinking. There have been some cases where the reflexes are fully recovered, but the thoughts are limited. There have been cases also where the thinking process is fully restored, but with limited reflexes. There have been also cases where the neurological functions are fully recovered. There is one more thing. Your wife is pregnant. What? She's in her seventh week. Are you sure? Yes. The only thing we can do at this point is monitor her and pray. It's in God's hands now. Doctor said there's nothing we can do but monitor her. That is so unfortunate. So, how are you holding out? She's my life. I mean, I just don't understand why. Well, call me tomorrow with an update, okay? I will, sir. I will. You hang in there, buddy. Our prayers go out to her. Thank you, sir. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Why, why, why? Then why does this happen? I don't know if somewhere in there you can hear me, but I'm here for you. As I promise you time and time again, I will never leave you, no matter what, because I know you'll never leave me. What this means is that all of her neurological functions have been restored. Unfortunately, she is not capable of complex thoughts. She knows who she is. She'll be able to recognize family, friends, but she won't realize how they're related to her. What? Let me put it this way. Your wife now thinks and acts like a five-year-old. Unfortunately, there's no way to tell her if she'll ever recover from this state. Mr. Sanders, your wife is in no condition to be a mother. What do you mean? I strongly recommend that she aborts the pregnancy. Dear Lord, I've always thanked you for blessing me with such a wonderful husband and a wonderful home. But please, Lord, I pray to Thee, bless me, so I can bear my husband a child. A home is not complete without a child. 
That will mean so, so much to me, oh Lord. Please, help me. Help me. Mr. Santos. Bear a child for my husband. Mr. Santos, are you okay? Mr. Santos? No. Are you feeling busy or something? I'm fine, doctor. We're keeping our baby. But Mr. Saunders, the risk. We are keeping our baby. Now, when can we go home? Please close the curtains. You forgot to say good morning. Oh. I'm sorry. Good morning, Marcia. Morning, Jerry. Now, could you please close the curtains? Okay. How are you doing this morning? I'm hungry. Okay. Let's freshen up and then go into the kitchen and get some breakfast, okay? Okay. But first, help me make the bed. Alright. My sister got to cry My God sees everything oh. He's the same guy yesterday Today and forever He feels your pain Are you gonna wipe your tears away Now Google love be this My sister don't cry They love you sister
I completely understand. And believe me, if I could give you all the time in the world, I'll give it to you, because I know you need it. But remember, we take contracts based on the size of our team. If a vacation is scheduled, we will make the necessary adjustments ahead of time. Okay. This Friday is going to make two weeks since I've been out. I just have to. Look, Jerry, you are a good man. I won't try to tell you how to run your business. But remember, I need you here on Monday. Is that going to be a problem, Jerry? No, sir. I guess I just have to work something out. That's the spirit. How is she doing? She's ill, sir. She's very ill. Well, don't forget to pray. I will see you on Monday morning. Okay, sir. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth and with the increase of his leg shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Whoso found of the wife, found of a good thing, and obtained favor of the Lord. Maxwell. Hey, baby. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? I miss you. But I completely understand. I have been doing lots of thinking. And I know I have treated you badly. So I want to offer my sincere apology. And I hope that you will find it in your heart to forgive me. I am not ready to treat you like the wonderful wife you are. But I want you to take as much time as you need. And come when you are ready. I will be waiting. That's what I called to say. Well, I love you very much. And I will see you whenever you come home. I love you too, Maxwell. Okay, dear. Take care. Hey, Jerry. Peaches, listen. I'm in a tight spot. I hope you can help me. I have to go back to work on Monday and I need someone to stay with Marcia during the day. At least I can find someone trustworthy enough to hire permanently. You used up all your vacation time already? No, 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 no. I still have two weeks left, but the policy is that you have to put it in six weeks in advance. Oh, okay. Let me discuss it with Dennis first. Then I will let you know by this evening or tomorrow. Good. How is Brother Dennis? Oh, he's okay. Working hard as usual. So how's um, Masia treating you? Uh, she's keeping herself busy doing all types of stuff. Well, that's good. You hang in there. And don't forget to pray. Yeah. Well? i talk to you later or tomorrow. Okay. Bye.
morning, Jerry. Oh, bitches. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. You saw a bit relief. As if you were thinking I may not show up. No, no, no. I know that this is kind of asking a whole lot, and I, I just want you to know that I really appreciate you coming to do this for me, you know? Yeah, yeah. Where is my niece-in-law? She said asleep. I was wondering if I should probably wake up before leaving because she's kind of used to me being there with her every day. So, I don't know how she's going to take my absence. You didn't tell her you were going to work today. Yeah, I told her yesterday and then again woke up last night. Let her sleep then. We'll be fine. We can give her a bowl of cereal when she wake up. Yeah, water and sugar. And what's about you? Oh, I'm okay. She can help herself to some snacks and juice when she wake up. She gets a bit moody at times, but not for very long. But everything should be fine. Do you have any questions you want to ask me before I go? Not so far. But if any comes up, I'll be sure to call you. Wonderful. Uh, once again, thank you so much for coming. Well, I'm off. Jerry went to work, honey. Remember he told you he was going to go to work today? He'll be back this evening. But I will be here with you until then. And you and myself can spend some time together. Will you like that? I give him free kisses. Huh. So you don't have to go to work? No, I don't have to go to work. So how come you don't go to work? I used to have to go to work just like Jerry, but I stopped working at that job, and Dennis said I should. Who's Dennis? Oh, Dennis is my husband. Is Jerry my husband? Yes, he is. Mm. Does Dennis have to go to work? Yes, he does. And he works very hard. That's why I don't have to go to work for a while. Um. So. No, thank you. I ate already. Okay. Watch a different channel now. <laughs> I see how you've been watching cartoon all day. Can we go to something else and come back to cartoon? Sir, um, I'd like to talk to you about my uh, vacation, sir. Sit down, Jerry. What about your vacation? Well, sir, I know the notification period is six weeks, but I really need some time to take care of some stuff at home as it pertains to my wife condition. So, uh, I wonder if you could let me take my remaining two weeks out of next week, sir. Jerry. 
I understand, but be reasonable. If I bend the rule for you, I have to bend it for everybody else. Sir, this is different. My wife is ill. I really need time to make the proper arrangements for her. I've never really asked for anything like this before. Matter of fact, I've never really asked for anything. Okay, Jerry. Fill out the request form and hand it to me before the day ends, okay? Thank you, sir. But you need to wrap this up within the two weeks. I feel for you, but this is a business. Definitely, sir. Thank you, sir. And uh, I will. Good. How is the project coming? Oh, good. In the final stage of production. Do you think we need to bring Hubert in on this? No, sir. You know, this is a very important project. I can handle it. Okay. Um, all right, bring me the completed paperwork before the day ends, okay? Thank you, sir. All right, good. What's up, El Abigaspo? Ivy P. Come on, everybody, clap your hands. Clap, clap. Let's go, gas people. Dance for Jesus. Good morning, my sir. Good morning, peaches. How are you today? Fine. That's good. I have a fun game I would like you and I to play today. It's easy to learn and it's a whole lot of fun. What do you think? I want to watch cartoon. What's about play the game a little bit and then you watch cartoon? I don't know. I really want to watch cartoon. I was dying slowly, dream of a Now you be my ogre, now you be my daddy, oh. Now you be my ogre, eh, 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 eh. Now you be my ogre, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. Now you be my ogre, Jehovah, eh. Why don't we play that fun game now? How about we play the game a little bit, just a little bit, and come back to watching more cartoon? for two more weeks. I'll go crazy. Wanna draw? Yay! Yay! That's why I make you stop love yourself. 
ya. Right. Can't take it fully since I work in the man. Yeah, what happened today? You know not this. Or that. If me stop if you get a cup of coffee, them know. If they call me phone and get me, then jump on the computer, punch in my chop number, and know exactly where I'm there. Boy, I can't take it now, man. But anyway, enough about me now. What happened to Marcia? Oh my gosh, Dennis. I have only stayed with her for three days. And I feel as though I am totally losing my mind. So, no improvement? Ah, I wish. I was going to try to teach her a game today. Just something different. So, how we work out? It didn't. All she wants to do is watch cartoon and draw. God. Boy, I'm to take bad things in my class. So she not tell you to do the same sitting in every day. I already give credit to people who do this kind of thing for a living. I don't know how they do it. Day after day. I don't know if I can do it for two more days. Boy, I can't imagine how Jerry I got you. Go work at daytime and go and go deal with that. If I did you, I would do the same thing, you know. But why? That's why I thank God for you, you know. We beg him to keep you healthy and strong. Me hungry hope in my prayer. Me really hope in my prayer. Cause hungry God can't help you, you know. Hungry God. Are you coming? No, my feet hurt. You're not planning on staying in there all day, are you? No, just gonna go pick up my check. Oh, all right. Go ahead. I'm waiting. It's all about to check, baby. <laughs> Girl, what's wrong? Nothing. I'm just tired of her. Esther? I'm just thinking about Maxwell, that's all. Ooh, I know. You miss him, right? But why don't you just give me a call? Can we just go? Jeez. Okay. Okay, Esther. You haven't said a word to me since we left the, the parking lot. Talk to me. It's Maxwell. I saw him in the parking lot. What parking lot? When you went in to pick up your paycheck, I saw you arguing with some woman. What? They were arguing and she tried to leave and he tried to hug her. Wait, are you sure it was Maxwell? I saw him and I looked right back and it looks like they were having a lover's quarrel. Maybe it was nothing. 
Uh, maybe he nearly hit her with his car and he was just trying to apologize like that. And he tried to hug her. But, um, why didn't you tell me about this? Because I know you probably would have caused a scene. You know I would. We should go back right now and see if she's still there. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, but, um, you should at least give Maxwell a call. Okay, okay. Peaches, I know I could ever thank you. How are you? I'll talk for a few minutes, Jerry. Oh, okay. What's see. Aunt Peaches is leaving, so uh, I'm going to talk to her for a bit, okay? Alright. Look, Jerry. I am not going to tell you that this was easy, because it wasn't. I know I'm busy. Sir. And I hope you will find somebody to stay with her when your vacation is done. Because as much as I love you, and you know I do, I am not going to do this again. I understand. I will. I'll find someone. My vacation actually starts now. Um, I have two weeks and really two days if I count tomorrow and Sunday. I am serious, Jerry. I cannot do this. So what did you do today? Watch cartoons. So, how long have you worked for the agency? About two years. Good. You like it? Not really. But it's fancy bills. You know. So have you ever worked a case like this? No. But I have a boyfriend. Which mother is crazy like hell. But it's not her. You just gotta tell them who is the boss around here. Hmm. So, do you have kids? Yes, too. Good. How are they doing? They are fine the last time I left them. They are okay. Oh, they are in foster care. They still took them away from me. They said I was abusing them. They don't understand that kids need to follow the rules whether they understand it or not. Do you have a letter? I worked at the public hospital for three years. So what happened? They started spreading all these rumors about me trying to sleep with the patients. Uh, do you have a family? No, my wife left. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not. She was the main one spreading all these rumors. Okay. You see, the sisters is messed up. I did my time. So, when did you get out? Five months ago. And you say you've been working for the agency for three weeks? Yes, sir. What did you do before that? A distributor. What did you distribute? Sorry, I can't tell you that, sir. Stop calling my phone. Every day you call me, I tell you the same thing. Stop calling my phone. Stop! <sighs> Television is evil. It corrupts the mind. Maybe that's what the source of the problem is. Have you ever thought about that? Uh, can I have the remote control now? It's me, Maxwell. 
coming let's go you will have a seat it's not gonna be as surely So how you been? Good. Yeah, I've been good too. Have you? Yeah, you know. Trying to take care of stuff here and there. Baby, I've been calling you for days. Why have you been answering my call? Okay, okay. I'm just gonna go in the room and leave you two lovebirds to talk. Honey, what's going on? I saw you two days ago arguing with some woman in the parking lot. Who was she? Nobody. And I actually believe you. I actually thought you was trying to change. I am. I mean, I have. No, you're not as well. Yes, I have. I have decided to set everything straight. Everything in my life that I allowed to come between us. That woman, she's nobody. Just somebody I used to talk to. I know she liked me in a different way, and I guess I was enjoying the idea of being desired by somebody other than you. But I have decided to put it to an end, and that's what you saw. I know I've been a really bad husband, but I'm a different man now. Just give me a chance to prove it. I don't know Maxwell. Esther, can you please come home? I need more time. I understand. At least can you please answer the phone when I call you? We'll see. But I really miss you. Oh my God, girl. Oh my God, I think Maxwell sounds so sincere. And, and I think he has changed, but and you know, I know you. You feel the same way too. I know, but it still feels like something that's missing. I feel it in my soul. It's like God telling me there's still something that Maxwell need to do. Thank you so much for coming. Good morning, you look shot. Thank you. Where is she? She's still in bed sleeping. She should be out by 9, 9.30. Oh, that's okay. I have a couple of calls to make.
Well, you know where everything is. Anything, give me a call? Sure. Have a good day. Okay, Jerry, see you later. Thanks. And that's why it's so important. Let's face it, the last thing you will want is for someone to have an allergic reaction at your party. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Have your, yeah, have your plan, your planner call me. Yeah. Wonderful. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Well, hi, Marcia. You look healthy. How are you? Come here. Give me a hug. Do you have to go to work? Today I don't. I'm gonna be hanging out with you. What is your work? Well, I'm a caterer. What's that? Well, a caterer is someone who cooks food for many people. And that is what I do. I mostly work on the weekends, cause that's when they have a lot of parties. So, what do you wanna do? I wanna watch cartoons. Oh, goody, I love watching cartoons. I always watch cartoons. Really? Me too. That's good. Marcia, are you in there? There you are! Hello? Tina, you okay? My sister is in a hospital, and as you know, our parents are in Liberia, and my brother is away at sea, so I have to go and be by her side. I'm really sorry, Jerry, but... No, 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 no. I completely understand. I just hope she's gonna be okay. So, how are you gonna manage your plan? I don't know. I really don't know. I hope you I guess I'll see you later then. She had to leave to see with a family emergency and that didn't really give me enough time to find Jerry, you've always shown good judgment when it comes to your work. I would think it'd be the same at home. I don't understand, sir. You need to take your wife to a facility where they can care for her. I would not check my wife into a nut house. That's up to you. All I know is I need you in your office by tomorrow morning, okay? Cartoon. Goddamn, Marcia. Jerry, I just want to watch cartoon. 
Mercy, I said not now! Just saying some things. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm ready to watch TV. Come I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I see the tears within your eyes For all the pains that lie so deep within Cause life has taken a turn on you You have no job, your rent is due Your bills are piling up each day there is no one there to lend a hand There's a God, a God who's always there I know that He is standing near He'll give to you in time No matter what you're going through No matter how tough it is Turning round and round Your mind is filled with questions about your life The family's grown, no friends can be found Oh no, no, no You feel that you are always all alone And no one seems to care There's a God, a God who's always there Share your pain and make a way for you. No matter what you're going through, no matter how tough it is, the best thing to do is to hold on. Hold on. But why do we have to leave today? Because the sheriff wants us to leave today. But I thought this was our house. It was, but the bank took it back and sold it to someone else. Now that person knew owner wants us out. But don't they have their own house? I don't know, Mercia. Now could you please pack your stuff in the bag? But I don't want to go. Neither do I. But if we don't leave, they're going to kick us out. Where are we going to go, Jerry? Mercy, I do not know. Now could you please put your stuff in the bag? Please. Okay. Sir? Sir, uh, could I just please have a few minutes for my wife? Yeah, 10 minutes. I'm so sorry, that 
That was a mistake. Ten minutes. Sort some things out. Are you serious? Yeah. You and your wife kicked me out, huh? Come on, James. You know what you did. But, you know what? Let's not go into that. That's in the past. I'm only asking for a few days. Jerry, you can't stay here. How could you say that? When you need that place to stay, we we'll talk you in. When you stalk me, hey, hit him again. Let's have nothing to do with you. Yo, my brother, let go, man. You're just as crazy as white. Why you sit by there? Let me show you what's crazy. You need to check yourselves in their house. Just call my life. Better man, just go on and up. What are you doing, James? someone you may be destitute and going through the vicissitudes of life but I come to bring hope to you that there is a way the Bible says call upon me in the day of trouble and I will answer you the Bible says weeping may endure for the night but joy cometh in the morning so lift up your head all you get as you cry unto the Lord he shall hear you and wipe away your tears Lord, I know you will wipe my tears away and answer me when I call. Oh, oh, oh. Lord, I know you will wipe my tears away and answer me when I call. Oh, 
just gonna stop it for a little bit while I think, okay? Just a little while. Alright. There you go. Thank you. Oh, you drawing my pretty picture? Yeah, I like pink. So says your word. Thank you, Lord. Jerry. Hi, Auntie. Just, um, so sorry to show up like this. Why didn't you call first? Uh, my, uh, my phone was disconnected, but listen, I was just wondering if we just, you know, spend a few days here. Jerry, you know I can't do that. You know how better than this feels about that. Okay. But can we just, can we just use the bathroom real quick? It won't be long. Okay. Thank you so much. What's that? Which one is that? Okay, come sit down and put them back. Back up. Oh, you want to watch cartoon? I don't think we have a cartoon channel. But I can get you something to eat. You like that? I'll get you something to eat. Something to eat. And banana. Something to take
What are you guys doing here? What do you mean? Mr. Sander! You are Sister Sander's husband! Yeah. Then I started coming from the bank. And then some law firm representing the bank. So we finally got evicted. This was the safest place I could think of. And I thought I was having a tough time. But uh, it's pretty dark. How did you see us? I come here to pray from time to time with the pastor. You should come here and talk to him. Oh, no, no, no. I'm okay. We're fine. You can't stay in the church yard like this. I insist you and your wife come in and talk to the pastor. He should be able to help you. That's when Maxwell had pulled up and saw us. <sighs> Jesus. <sighs> you know, son, God has various ways of testing our faith. But I want to believe God with you today. I want to believe God with you according to the word of God that says, if we trust in Mount Zion, we shall not be shaken or moved. I don't care what the devil has put in your life. Whatever the problem is, God is able. I want to believe God that in the next 30 days, glory to God, that there will be a transformation in your situation. I mean a real transformation. All of the obstacles in your life shall turn to what miracles. Let me see those hands. God, I pray for transformation that everything that the enemy has put in their lives will be scattered by fire. Jehovah, I pray that you, God, will bless them. Let there be an increase of divine revelation in their life. Glory to God. God will bless you. God will restore the years that the conquer rooms have eaten. Glory to God. Your marriage will be restored. Your children will be destiny children. There's a room that I have for you all here. I've never, never, ever allowed any of the church members to stay in that room. But I see that the favor of God is upon your life. And God is going to help you to get back on your feet. But son, you cannot do this on your own. There's a Bible that I have in the back. I want you to read it every single day. Thank you, Pastor. We really appreciate all this. <laughs> Don't thank me. Don't thank me, son. What you need to do now is to go down on your bended knees and give God some praise because as you get down on these knees, son, the victory will be yours.
you need to do now is to go down on your bended knees. Don't forget to pray. Give God some praise. And don't forget to pray. Because as you get down on these knees, son, the victory will be yours. start but if you can hear me up there please tell me why this has happened to us I don't understand it my wife prays to you all the time But yet, it's still allowed us to happen to her. We had a good life. We had a good life. The only one thing. I was missing when I was a child. But now I have my wife. And she's finally pregnant. But... She's <laughs> there have been also cases where the neurological functions are fully recovered. It's in God's hands now. She's finally back. She's back. <laughs> now I get it. I get it.
Yes, sir. Sorry to call you so late. But there's something I need to run by you. I couldn't wait till in the morning. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. But I need to deal with it now. I'm listening. Dear God, I come to you as I am. I've read your words and I'm on my knees. You said, seeking you shall find. Ask and it shall be given to you. God, I've looked and I'm asking. If you're up there and you can hear me, please, at this time in our lives, a miracle is what we need. And I'm asking you, please, Send us a miracle. Send us a miracle. Morning, Jerry. Morning. I would like you both to come and stay at my house. Uh, yeah, we could impose. No, 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 please. You are not imposing. I would like you both to come and stay at my place, my house. Come on, man. It's okay. I have decided to give her all the time she needs and just keep praying to God. Wow. It's really amazing how things happen in our lives and we tend to see all that's going wrong and become so blind to the things that have been given to us. I'm really starting to get a clear understanding of the whole thing because you see if she had stayed with you and put up with everything that you was doing wrong who's to see what might have happened but by her leaving and saying that you need to become a better person for us to be together let's look at you now amen you know God has a plan and a purpose for everything Yes, it does. You know, on Twitter, I've been doing a lot of thinking. And I feel within my spirit that my husband is falling the way he should be. You mean he finally has a job? <laughs> no, as a person. I think he's finally in touch with his good side. I know. The thing that... Maxwell never even wanted anyone to visit you guys for any other reason. Yep. He's definitely in touch with his good side. But, um... I just hope the bad side doesn't resurface anytime soon. No. I don't think it will. I can feel it within my spirit. Well, I'm off for work. Do you want me to drop you off or are you going to take your car? No, I took my car. Thank you. Alright. I'll see you later. Well, be safe. Law, I understand. Now I know why she left. I completely understand. I have been a foolish husband. Send a wife into my life who loved me dearly. She was always there for me, respected me. But what did I do? Couldn't see the best in her. Treated her so badly. Now I'm lonely in this house all by myself. Nobody to cook. Nobody to clean, look after my breakfast. I get the picture. I get the picture, Father. Please bring my wife back home. I know this was a lesson you want me to learn. I know. 
If not, Esther would have been here by now. But I understand. I get it, Father. I'm a changed man now. I have work on myself. All I need from you, old man, just bring my wife back. You said to me, a man who found a wife, found a good thing, and obtained favor from the law. I was so naive and foolish to see that. But now she gone. I understand completely. I'm begging you, Father, help me. Bring Esther back to me. She's my better half. I mess up a lot. But I have realized my mistake. I love my wife. And you know, with you on my side, she will come back home. Help me. I'm a new man. Esther is all that I need. Please, Papa. Please bring Esther back to me. You know I'm going to be the best husband I can be. Nobody else out there can treat me like she can. Nobody will love me like she can. I love my wife. Daddy, please help me bring my wife home. Please. So you were saying, if you had to choose between, say, Benz, and use Hyundai Accent, you would choose the Accent? I go with a brand new Accent. But the point is this. When you invest a lot more than the necessary material things, you have a lot more to lose. And a bigger chance of losing them. For example, excuse me. Hello? Hey, Esther. What? My wife is home. My wife is home! What are you doing? I'm listening to baby's heartbeat. You can actually hear it. When will it come out? Soon. And when it's time, you're going to have to hurry to the hospital, okay? That's why I have that bag packing ready to go. See it? Say a morning prayer. Dear Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, to you, you I pray. We thank you for the night and day. Thank you for health, strength, and food. Thank you for a place to stay. Help me to have a good mind. Have a good mind. Purify my heart. So I always be kind. Always be kind. Thank you, Lord, for the baby inside of me. Please help him born healthy so we can have a, a happy family. Amen. Amen. Everybody, everybody, somebody, please. I'm asking you, everybody, 
Praise the Lord. Draw me and say, Praise the Lord. I did praise you, Jehovah. I didn't worship you anymore. What's wrong with you? Okay. What's wrong? Hmm. Had an accident. Oh, I see. Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. Does she have this type of accident from time to time? No, never. Maxwell, get the keys and grab the bag. I don't think she's gonna make it to the hospital. What do you mean? Oh. She's gonna have the baby right here, right now. Get her on the couch. Jerry! Oh. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Oh. Maxwell, give me a clean towel, a blanket, and some warm water. Mm. Oh. Jerry, go in the kitchen, look in the sink, under the cover, grab me some gloves. Go. I'll be right back. Jerry! <laughs> Maxwell, go in the kitchen and get me a big container of water, please. Mm. Alright, breathe, sweetie, breathe. Mm. You got it, sweetie. It's okay. Keep breathing. Mm. Breathe. Give me a deep breath. I want you to keep breathing for me. Mm -mm. I just need one pill. One pill, Jerry. One pill. Oh. 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 Breathe, keep breathing. Oh. Let me in the water. I oh. need to take her to the hospital. No time for that, Jerry. I would just need you to hold hands and pray. I have done this a thousand times. Can you do that for me? Can you do that? Just Oh. Take a deep breath. Maxwell, get in the spoon. I don't want to spoon. Oh. 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 Just keep breathing. Oh. Breathe. Everything is going to be just fine. Okay, I'm going to need you to bite on this. Okay? Bite on this. Alright, breathe. Oh. Breathe. Oh. Oh. You're okay. Okay, sweetie, you breathe. Okay, breathe. Keep breathing. On the count of three, I'm going to push. One, two, three, push. Okay, one more time, one more time. One, two, push. One last push. Okay. It's beautiful. It's a boy. Wow, well, my son. Our son, Jerry. We now have a son. And it's a healthy baby boy. Okay, Jerry. We're okay.